Welcome to the Renvar Plains Tutorial Hollow. I am GW1N, Human Cyber Relations. The free runner is our APC. Alright gents, uh, technical difficulties with GW1N, too much haggis. So basically we're going to start where that free runner was, and we're all going to form up into a tank group, and we're going to move forward. Two free runners at the front, one T1B in between them, uh, three T1Bs, second row, and two T1Bs at the back with the, with the artillery free runner between them. Now at this point in the hill, we're going to break. We should be taking fire from the enemy. So free runner is going to head right. It's going to use its boost and it's going to hit the smoke, like so. So you press fire to use the smoke key, press shift to use boost. Free runners are going to loop around to the back. And they're going to get into the control point from the back way. That's what she said. So those tanks hopefully will have moved out. So once it's in here, we'll have infantry that will, won't have spawned at the start of the game. They'll spawn now. They'll either spawn on one or two of the freebooners that will have lived. Or if they're both dead, they'll spawn on their squad leaders. So once they get out, they just dive for cover. Get as far away from the tank as possible. Get into cover. Because the Firehawks is going to be shooting at that. Okay, so I suicide now. This is the T1B. T1B is a heavily armed weapons platform. Uh, the driver has access to uh, anti-aircraft missiles. The gunner has access to repeating blasters. The tank only functions very well at close range. So what we need to do is get the tank close if we want to kill the other tanks. But we're not trying to kill the other tanks now. So once we've formed up here, we're going to move forward as a group. Again, killing the other tanks isn't our priority at the first CP. Capturing it is. So we need to get in fast. So once we've formed up in our group, we're going to move forward. Uh, like with the free runner. The free runner is going to be ahead. And the tanks are going to be behind it. And once we get to here, see the hill on the left again. These are the T1B pilots. So the free runner is going to head right and pop smoke. The T1B is going to head up the hill. You need to practice this now in single player or on a local server so you don't muck it up. Because if you tumble the tank off the edge and we lose a tank, that's a huge blow. So we're going to bring it down here into the CP. Hopefully there'll be room with the other tanks that have moved up a bit. Um, once your T1B is in the radius and you've left room for other people behind you, you switch to guns. So press F2 to switch to the gunner position and kill any enemy infantry nearby. Um, tanks are important to kill, but the enemy infantry will t deny this the point. So you need to kill them because they die faster. Um, so just use the guns, blast them. If your tank drops to below 50% and you're still getting shot at by tanks, you get out. You get it to cover and you put down your shield. So you try to take as little damage as possible, stay inside the radius, capture the point. That's our objective. Um, once the objective is clear and we've captured it, we need to kill their tanks. But right now, it's just killing. So this is a point. This is something I'll show you how to do. If you step into your shield, and you can pop up and out of it by using the crouch. So if you crouch and walk to the edge of the shield, um, you'll see you can you can step up through it. This is not a glitch. It's perfectly acceptable. And it means that you can duck to avoid fire and be completely invulnerable. Or you can get up and shoot them. So stay behind your shields, capture the point, And then we'll deal with the rest of the map, hopefully, in phase two. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're destroying the remaining vehicles. Probably won't be any here. Let's hope. Um, well, if there are, it's probably good for us. They, the Imperials have six tanks on the map, and two of them are here. Um, so once you've captured the point, they won't respawn. But our vehicles won't spawn until we kill them. So we kill them now. Um, and hopefully what we'll do is we'll bring in some more tanks from the base. But having them here so close to the front line is better. Um, a, a free runner and a T1B will spawn here. So what we'll do now is kill them, do the item tanks and to let our stuff spawn, and then we'll head out. So 
So right now we're probably involved in a firefight because the Imperials have four tanks at their base, two outside and two inside, and they will have got those and regrouped and re repaired whatever damage was done to them. And they'll be firing at us. So I'll have to engage them one at a time. Um, probably be a big tank battle here. Luckily I don't have to deal with that in infantry, or sorry, in, in uh, single player. But behind me there you can see the tanks have just spawned. Um, yep, hope you can see that. You, you know, in our case you can see the, the area effect bubble on the APC. The free runner has a giant scanner and it's kind of cool. So what we'll do is get one close to the base. So over here if there's any vehicles, we'll kill them now. Um, we'll have fought our way here, we'll have killed our tanks. Now it's time to kill the reinforcement tanks, make sure they don't they don't get us that way. Um, so yeah, this is kind of boring, but I'll show you how to single seat a T-1B. So what you do is you drive close, you fire your missiles, and then you switch to guns. And hammer away. If you're on your own, the, the enemy tank is probably maneuvering around you, so it's hard to get your missiles in a second time. But this close, you can probably just finish them with blasters. Uh, so yeah, just get into the cockpit, drive close. Yep, like that. So you get in, you drive close, you fire your missiles. Pew pew. And then you switch to lasers and blast away till you die. And it's very disorienting with all this flashing. The, the Firehawk fires in a big pow. Pow, you know. But with all... Uh, what I was going to say is with all the flashing, uh, it makes it hard for the tank to see. Which is good for us. So, right, uh, T1Bs will come around here, and hopefully, there will be two tanks we have to deal with in here. So, it'll be just right ahead now. But instead of that, doing that, we're going to go where I want to show you. This is where we want to bring our T1B once the tanks are dealt with. We want to come up here and just wiggle your way in, move left and right as you move forward. You should be able to get in. Um, okay, so we're capturing the point, and we can cover it with guns. Um, we have a passenger that'll get out. We we'll also want to bring a free runner in here. I'll show you that in a second. So yeah, blasty, blasty, blasty. And we, you can cover the other points quite well as well, which is nice. Um, so yeah, woohoo! Go us. If we get a T1B and a free runner in. We can put down some serious firepower. And of course the free runner spawns infantry. The infantry will, will be, you know, putting down shields and killing anybody who spawns on the point. And then we capture it, blah blah blah. So once we capture this, uh, their tanks stop spawning. Which is fantastic for us. So what we want to do is when we capture this point and hold it um, until we can move all our tanks up. So we'll have two squads involved in holding this point, and the re the other squad, which is uh, Sly Fox's Renegade Squadron, they'll move all our tanks up and stuff for us, especially the artillery. So you can bring the free, uh, T1B up to here to push them back, keep them away from the point. And also we want to take out any vehicles that are left that ha they haven't used yet. So, yeah, lasers are good for that. Hammering them with lasers, using detonation packs from the support kit. Heavy weapons, do what you have to do. But just hold on to the plaza and kill their tanks. The plaza is also important because once we capture that, we stop our spawn rot and our tickets stop going down. So we can just outkill them here because we'll prop hopefully we'll have more tickets. So we can just kill them and win the match. Um, we'll have the advantage of vehicles just gunning them down. So hopefully that will work in our favour. Okay. So, yeah. This is going to take a while to kill. I better get a load of another clip up here. Um, this is the free runner getting in, so it's fairly easy to do. 
it's because the sloping um, undercarriage makes it easier. So you park it here, it's got a rear mounted gun, you see the scanner on the map, it's covering all the area, it's covering all three points that you need to capture here. So it's very easy to put down some fire and people will be spawning on this. So we'll need to get repair crews out. So we'll have a lot of heavy weapons guys and a lot of support guys. Uh, that way we can keep up the um, keep up the vehicle's strength. Yep. Uh, the artillery free runner can cover two of the three points we need to capture from here. So uh, it fires gigantic shells with gigantic blast radiuses. Um, and it's great because they can kill lots of the enemy. Uh, we can help them. I'll show you now in a minute how. Going to show you the, one of the best kept secrets in First Strike. Uh, the trooper class and the officer class are equipped with binoculars. Which sounds really intimidating. Ooh, binoculars. So, um, works really well with a sniper rifle actually. So you select the binoculars and you look through them. Ooh. Uh, you, uh, was it? right click to um, hold them to your face and you mouse wheel to zoom in now you can place a marker so we're going to pretend that the stormtrooper right about here yeah so you fire and it places a little marker that does no damage but you can see it and so can everybody else in your team but now you all figured out while I used a robot to do it last time and um, so what I was going to say is that the artillery free runner can now see that marker where you would have placed. Right now, we're bringing a T1B in out of bounds around this icebergy thing and into the far west point, which is called West Shrine, I think. So, if you do it with boost, you can get in and not die. Um, a tank should have the ability to overrun anybody there, um, but we'll send two because we can do that. We need to first of all hold the uh, plaza point. Make sure we've got that secure, and then we'll send Sly Fox's um, squad mates to come get this. Uh, from Sly's position, he can artillerize, if that's a word, the uh, Northern Shrine. I think that's the name of the CP. So he, he can bombard that. So, uh, so we can just grab it with speeder bikes and then get out of there. And anytime somebody shows up on the scanner is going in, we just shell it to bits. And they should all die, hopefully. Um, with this in mind, we can capture the three points. But we don't need to capture the three points. It'll help us if we do, because they'll get spawn and run. But all we need to do is hold plaza. So that's our main concern in this map, is to get to plaza and hold it. Alright, I apologise for the crudeness of this being put together. Um, had to do it in a hurry. As always, stay with your squad leader, um, follow his instructions, and the instructions on vent, uh, I mean, sorry, not vent, team speak. We'll need to uh, react quickly to different things. I'll be going commander for a lot of this, so I'll be able to check if there's mines ahead of us. If there's mines ahead of us, we've got to change our, our uh, attack direction. Um, we've got to be able to react on the fly. Uh, we're counting on you. We're counting on all of us. May the force be with you guys, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Good luck out there.